Hey guys, the objectives for this video and the following video are going to be finding the maximum and minimum axial forces. So just to show you where we're at, from the beginning of our problem, we've now done number one. We're up to number two and three now, okay? So a good thing to always do is to create a summary table of everything we've found. So we have load, uh, dead, live, win case one, win case two, axial in member one in kilonewtons, axial in member two in kilonewtons. So just to flick through everything we've done, from the dead load, we found N1 minus 23.6 in compression, minus 23.6. N2, 63 and a third, so I just rounded it to 63.3, it's in tension. Then for the live load, we found N1 is minus 28.3 in compression, N2 is 80 in tension. Then for wind case 1, we have N1 is 47.1 in tension, N2 is minus 66.7 in compression, and then for wind case 2, N1 is minus 47.1 in compression and N2 is 66.7 in tension. So this table is just going to make our life a lot easier for this step. So now we're going to do the load combinations for member 1. So we create a table like this, load combination equation and the value in kilonewtons. So let's do 1.35 G first. So it's going to be 1.35 by... Actually, you know what? I'm just going to quickly show you the table. If you don't want to listen to me solve it, you can take a quick pause of this and you can go try solve it yourself. Uh, but I'm going to go and solve every one now just to show you how to do it. So it's 1.35 times G and this is all for member one. Okay, so we're only looking at this column here. G was minus 23.6, so it's 1.35 by minus 23.6 gives us minus 31.9 roughly, that's in compression. The next low case is 1.2G, 1.5Q, so it's 1.2 by...